So when I'm talking to business owners, one of the challenges that they regularly say to me is, James, I get really intimidated when I'm talking to someone that's in a really senior position or maybe a, you know, a chief executive or a managing director of a big company. How can I overcome those sort of nerves and feelings? And it's, there's no doubt, when you're talking to someone that's maybe got a higher profile or they're at higher responsibility, there is that sort of nerves and trepidation that we can all have that makes us feel, wow, I'm talking to this person, you know, what, how can I ensure that it doesn't go wrong or I do the, the wrong thing and uh, basically look like I'm nervous and feeling like it's, it's not gonna work. So there's three things I say to people that you can do when you're in this situation that can hopefully help you deal with those feelings and make sure you get the right result at the end of it. So the first thing is this, I know it sounds daft, but they are just human beings after all. And the reality is, is they like you need to drink, they need to, to, to eat, and guess what? They go to the loo as well. So it's just, that they're not special. They're not, they don't have any special characteristics. They are human beings. So one of the things you can maybe look to do is just think about them as being human beings and just see them as normal people rather than the putting them on this pedestal that you put them on, which then makes you feel you know in, intimidated when you're trying to talk to them. Just see themselves, the fact that they are people who will have issues. There'll be things going on in their world that will cause them challenges and headaches and issues, and they're not like anyone else. They, they, just because they have a status or a, a position doesn't mean they're immune from that. So the first thing is always this, always just think and remember. So just accept ultimately they're human beings, they're gonna go through those challenges, and they're the same as you in general, in terms of the arms, your legs, what you have to do. Ultimately, you're not any different to them, and see that before you start thinking about their position or what they do. The second thing is this, it's really important for you to really think about what you're going to say and practice how you're going to say it when you engage with these people. The challenge that often happens is that we go, because we haven't practiced or because we haven't done the work beforehand to know, write down exactly what we're going to say or what our approach or the framework or the script outline, we feel a bit flustered and we're a bit like not sure what to do. Whereas if we've actually practiced and we've got an outline in place, we can feel really comfortable about talking through, especially a couple of two or three questions that you know resonate with that person, then you're gonna be in a far better position to make sure that you look accomplished, you look confident, and, you, and that person will hopefully then start to re respond back to you. Use one or two questions such as, you know, a question that you've used such as, you know, talk to me about the issues that you've been dealing with in relation to this. They're, they're people at the end of the day, they're still gonna go through those issues. Know what you're gonna say and practice it in the shower in the morning, when you're in the car on your own, or when you're going for a walk, wherever it is, just practice saying those one or two things over and over again. I've recommended videos in the past about practicing your pricing. It's no different when you're engaging with this type of audience. Do that and you're gonna feel much more comfortable about engaging with them and hopefully starting up a conversation and you'll then realize that they are just human after all and you can hopefully show them the value you can give. And the third point is this. When you're engaging with someone that's at a, a senior level or an executive or someone that you feel a bit intimidated about, intimidated about the key thing to do is to re get yourself in the right frame of mind to have that conversation. One of the things I always encourage people to do is to either have a photo or maybe a little prop. So I give all of my Sales Success Academy members this little chip here which says the Sales Success Academy, eat or be eaten, we believe in you. And sometimes when I'm on calls with people that are, that are new or that I feel a little bit like that are at a different level maybe, then I'll sometimes hold this chip. And when I hold it, it makes me feel strong, makes me feel good. And I remember back to when I created the academy and the, and the initial engagement with, with new clients and it makes me feel really good about how I'm feeling. And that helps me look more confident and appear more structured and probably stronger to the prospect or to the person I'm speaking to than if I didn't have that. Remember back to what you've done, what you've achieved, maybe a photo or what you're doing it for. Maybe there's a picture of your family or a dream car or a house or something that you want. Have that in your mind before you have the conversation. And if you do that and you can start to use little props like this, it's gonna help you deliver a much more confident and assured way of engaging with the person that will get you those results. So there you have three ideas on how you can ensure that you don't feel intimidated when you're speaking to someone. The reality is this, you can't control what's going on in their world and all you can do is control your own behavior and your own actions. So take the action, get on the phone to them, arrange a time to try and meet them. Of course you have to try and get inside their world, what's going on inside their head. They're gonna have challenges and be empathetic to what's happening with them. And if you can't imagine what that is, then just do a bit of brainstorming and think what it could be. But if you can start to take these actions that I've talked about today, it can help you not be intimidated. You can have great conversations and hopefully move business forward. And I always say to people, 
have conversations with people that make budgets, not those that have them. Do that and you're gonna see your business soar and get the results that you want. I hope this has been helpful. Head on over to my website at www.jameswhite.business and sign up for my Saturday sales tips email where I can make sure you get access to regular tips and hints on how to get better as a business owner at selling and ensuring you thrive and not just survive over the next 12 to 18 months. Thanks for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, smash that like button so you get my videos every Saturday morning and I can give you and your business the bounce and push that it needs to ensure that the next 12 to 18 months are brilliant for you and your company.